Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Coachella survival guide. Is he even going? My husband and my sister and I got to go to Coachella 2016 and it was literally the best thing of my whole life. I was not let down at all. It literally exceeded all of my expectations. So I thought I'd put together a survival guide for you guys so that if you're going to Coachella 2017 or any other music festivals this year, you can get a little insight to what you need and what you don't need. I'm gonna kind of categorize this into different categories under what to pack. So the first one is gonna be clothing, what to bring for your clothes. The first thing, everyone says it, but it's so true, bring comfortable shoes. I brought my most comfortable little sneakers and my old Doc Martens and it helped a ton, but my feet still hurt at the end of the day. So one thing that I did, not on purpose, Anyway, one thing that I did, not on purpose, but ended up being awesome and I'm so glad that I did, was I wore a bathing suit top as a shirt. It was like this cute little short sleeve top and it was amazing whenever it got really hot and I got a little sweaty, I couldn't even tell. And I wore that the very first day and the other two days I really wish that I had it. One thing that I did find a little weird whenever I got to Coachella is if you look up outfit inspiration on Pinterest or anything like that, when you're getting ready, you'll see Girls that are decked out head to toe in a bunch of layers, jewelry, all kinds of stuff, wearing like this high of like booty heels. And that is so not realistic. There's like 3% of people there that look like that and they're not even there really to enjoy the festival. They're usually people in the VIP sections that just get to sit and like observe. So if you're going to really enjoy the festival and to get everything out of it that you want, you're going to want to stay away from layers. I'd say stick to shorts, a cute shirt, a couple pieces of jewelry, a cute hat or something in your hair, and you're good to go. The fourth thing is sunglasses. Everyone says this and it's so true. You are literally going to wear your sunglasses every day, all day, and an extra pair. One thing that I did that was really helpful was I wore my hair up in braids or buns or something every day and it really helped keep it not as hot. My sister has hair like down to her butt and that's kind of a part of her look so she wore her hair down every day and she would like hold it up it would get kind of hot so if you can braid your hair if you know someone that is going with you that can these are the way to go. So you're definitely going to want to bring a small jacket to wear at night. Um, I brought like a flannel kind of thing and that was pretty good. The next thing is what to bring in your backpack. The first day I wore a fanny pack that I had and it was awesome, but the second day I wore a little backpack of my sister's and I liked it way better. The fanny pack just kind of bounced around and it was just really annoying. So if you have a small backpack, I would highly suggest that instead of the fanny pack. But these are some things that you're gonna to wanna to put in it. First thing is chapstick, just do it. You're gonna to wanna to have some serious gum. Okay, I had to go get something. One thing that I didn't have last year that I have now that I really wish I had at the time was this little fan that plugs into your phone. This has some serious power and it doesn't take that much of your phone battery. So having a little fan to bring with you is gonna be super helpful. And I also brought a little spray bottle like this that came in my travel pack for shampoo and things like that. And I filled it with water and I would constantly like spray myself and people oops, would like ask me if they if I could spray them too and it was a funny way to make friends and it was really refreshing. So, this is ridiculous. Can't get them back in. Another thing to have in your backpack is wet ones. Um, I liked this little travel pack and I went through a whole one in the three days. The porta potties at Coachella were very disappointing. So gross. And not all of them were guaranteed to have toilet paper in them. This was a good thing to have. But also you just feel really dirty and it was nice to kind of clean off. Definitely want to have hand sanitizer. Some people brought like a canteen or a water bottle um, and I did not. We spent a lot of money on drinks and we kind of knew that we were going to going into it. So if you're trying to save money, you definitely want to bring a canteen or something to keep water in. Portable charger and it has either one or three full charges in it. They're not expensive and they do have charging ports on the festival grounds, but I kept seeing people like sitting and waiting for their phone to charge and that just seems like a waste of money and why would you go to Coachella? to sit there and wait for your phone to charge. So these are really cheap and we were really glad that we had 
The next category is camping. This is a big one and I'm gonna try to keep it concise. Some very important details. One thing that I brought and I got it taken away from me was like a two by two plastic mirror. Just so you know, don't do that. I did bring, look how I be able to see the camera, whatever. I did bring this little mirror that has a, um, what are these called? Suction cup on the back of it and I would stick it to the car window and get ready. It was awesome, so. This is great. I think it was probably a dollar. One thing that we brought that was just because I have, I, live, I have a neat freak husband is he brought like a little mini broom and dust tray, dust pan, whatever. It ended up being so useful. It's so dirty at the campgrounds just because you're in the desert and it's really easy to track dirt in your tent and it was so awesome to be able to clean it up throughout the night or whenever we were there. And then we would like wipe it down with some wet wipes. It was great. So because most of your time spent in the tent is going to be at night, lighting is a big issue. We bought this solar light for about $5 and it was amazing. How many times am I gonna say amazing in this video? So this is inflatable and I'm not gonna blow it up right now, but you blow it up and it expands. We set it on top of our car um, throughout the day and it would charge and then I could use this as a ring light. Anyway, we had a tent that had a little net in the top. Oh, oh, I didn't know this was a feature. It's like SOS, oh, that's cool. I don't know, I don't remember exactly where we got this. I think Academy or something like that, but I'll try to find a link for something similar to it. I'm trying to deflate it, that's gross. Um, it was super helpful. We would put it in the net hanging from the top of our tent and it would light up the whole thing. We also had, this little lantern, really bright, and it, I don't know if it came with this, but we had it, and we would hang it in different spots around the tent when we needed it. Awesome. Okay, the next thing is a bathroom tote. I don't have a good example of the one that I used. I think I just had a little bag, but definitely want to bring a separate bag to bring to the showers with you. The way that the showers are set up, they either have like a hook or like a little bench, but I felt like there's a place to put my stuff in all of them. And it was just really nice to have a way to carry it and you're standing in line and you already have your towel and things like that. So definitely want to bring a bag to take to the showers with you to keep all your stuff together. Okay, this is a big one. I invested a little bit more money in this, probably like 20 bucks, but it was so worth it. I got this battery powered fan. Turn it off. Oh. I don't know why it's making this terrible sound. So I would keep this in the tent going all the time and the, probably the most expensive part about getting one of these is that you also have to get the batteries and those are they're like the huge ones. That was kind of annoying. But this was really nice to get some airflow in our tent because it's scalding hot in the mornings. Actually we had two of these and it was still hot so mm -hmm. You'll definitely want to bring some heavier blankets to use at night as well as bringing some sweats and long sleeve shirts to sleep in. It gets freezing cold in like the middle of the night whenever you're sleeping and the first night we woke up and we were so cold and then like after that we added more blankets. Come prepared for the annoying neighbors. Okay, if you bring a cooler, that's awesome. We had like lunch meat and some fruit and like granola bars and things like that in our cooler. And it was awesome. You won't have to worry about ice. They do sell ice there. It's $10 a bag, so keep that in mind. And you have to have cash because they come around like in a truck every day. If you have perishable items, you don't have to worry about them. So my battery died, which is weird because it said I had all the bars on some random blog it said to bring rope and so i bought a couple of extra things of rope and we ended up using it a lot and so we would hang up our tapestries like in between the car and the tent with the rope and that gave us some more privacy and it was really nice to have blocks bring lots of zip blocks for random crap one thing that we did wrong so in your guide whenever you get your tickets it's going to have a long list of what to bring and what not to bring the not to bring list is so long one of the big things on there is that you can't bring your metal stakes for your tent you have to go out and buy plastic ones which that's fine they're not expensive so we actually bought a new tent for coachella last year and we bought the plastic stakes for it 
didn't even cross our minds to take the new tent out of the box and get the metal ones out of there caused quite the hold up when we got to security because they were like, is that a new tent? Yeah. Your metal states are still in there, right? That's what happened. The last few things that you can expect. Okay, you're gonna wanna get there as soon as you possibly can on Thursday morning. Whenever they open the campsites, um, people are already in line. We had to wait like an hour to even get to the into the security line. Yeah, something that's going to be really helpful is if you if you get a spot really close to the camping center. There's a lot of really fun stuff going on over there. Um, it's just really cool to be over there, and it's close to showers and bathrooms and things like that. If you wait too long to get there, you'll be really far away. Don't ask me how I know. Expect to spend a lot of money on food while you're there. They have a really good variety of food. I was expecting like Southern State Fair food and that was not it at all. They have like really good food. However, they do get to charge you a lot for it just like anywhere. So just don't be expecting to go and spend 20 bucks for the whole day. Shower at night if you can. We didn't drink or anything so we were like, how do I say this? We were able to shower safely at night. On Saturday night, whenever Guns N' Roses was playing, we didn't really care to like watch the whole set. So we left like in the middle of it and we went back and literally no one was at the showers. And if you go in the morning, you'll have to wait like at least two hours in line to shower in the morning. At least two hours, at least two hours, at least two hours in line to shower in the morning. A few couple things is make a lot of friends, talk to people, have fun, and take a ton of pictures and videos because I still go back and look at all mine from time to time and watch different sets and things like that that I wouldn't at like a normal concert. If you have high expectations, keep them that way because like I said at the beginning of the video, it exceeded all my expectations and it really is everything that it's cracked up to be. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that others can see it. Don't forget to subscribe also. I don't know which side it's going to be on. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you found this video useful and that you get to go to Coachella either this year or at some point in your lifetime because it's the best. People will say, happy Coachella, literally every five minutes. So let me be the first to say, happy Coachella. Happy Coachella.